In this video, I explain about con clutch. Con clutch is one type of mechanical clutch, and it is also called as the friction clutch. In a friction clutch, three type is there: disc clutch, con clutch, and centrifugal clutch. So, in the last video, I discuss about the disc clutch. So, if you want to watch the video about the disc clutch, then the link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card. So, why its name is given the con clutch? Because con clutch is consist of two con. That why its name is given the con clutch. Here you see this is the diagram of con clutch. So it is consist of two con. Okay, so it is called as the driving conical con, and this is called driven conical con. So this is the three D diagrams of the con clutch. Here you see this is the one con, and this is the second con. That's why its name is given the con clutch. One con is fixed to driving shaft. So here you see this one con is fixed on the driving shaft, and another con fitted on the driven shaft, which is free to slide axially on a driven shaft. So here you see this is the second con, and its name is the driven con. In this diagram, this is the driven con, and it is slide axially. So this is the axis of the shaft, and this con is slide. In this direction means in x directions on the driven shaft, and on the driven shaft here you see the spline is provided. On this spline, this driven con is slide means it is move in and out. So in this diagram here you see this spline is provided. It is the rectangular slot on which the driven con is slide. The clutch is engaged by bringing the two conical surface in a Contact means when the clutch is in the engaged position, these both the con are in a engaged position. So torque is transmit from the driving shaft to the driven shaft. The torque is transmitted by friction between contact surface of con. Here you see these both the con con are in a contact. Okay, so when they are in a contact at that time, due to the friction, torque is transmit. That's why its name is given the friction clutch. The spring hold the con surface in a contact and maintain the pressure between them. Here you see the spring is provided in this diagram. Here you see the spring is provided. So what is the function of the spring? Spring is hold the con surface in a contact and maintain the pressure between them. The operating lever used only for disengagement of the clutch means during the normal condition. The clutch are engaged means both the con surfaces are engaged and power is transmit from driving shaft to driven shaft in our bike or in a four wheels. Okay, when we are not press the foot lever, so here you see in this diagram it is the operating lever. Okay, so this operating lever is provide left side in our car. Okay, so when we are not press the clutch at that time this clutch in this position in this first diagram you see they are engaged and the power is transmit from the driving shaft to driven shaft. And when we press the clutch, when we want to change the gear, okay, so when we want to change the gear, we need to disengage the driving shaft and the driven shafts. So when we press the lever, then what happen? The spring is pressed. So here in the second diagram, you see when we press the foot pedal at that time, this spring is pressed and this driven con is slide on these planes and. Driving con and driven con are disengaged, so power transmission is stopped from driving shaft to driven shafts. So, what is the main advantage of the con clutch? So, advantage of the con clutch over the disc clutch is very simple and require less axial pressure to disengage the clutch. So, thank you for watching this video. If you learn something, then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video. of basic mechanical engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for bme gadi's link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for more video i request to visit the playlist